Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you how to sort out a duplicate issue in Google Search Console. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a common issue actually because, uh, because when you create a post and or a series of posts related to the same to the same core team, then you can end up having a similar blog posts. So let's go to sort this out. So the 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 thing here is that this, uh, for example, at the bottom I got the tags. That I don't I don't worry about it because I I know. I'm not showing the tabs in search result pages, so I'm not going to worry about the tabs. Then I got this URL here, which if you click on it and you click on inspect URL, if you get, um, you get uh, this kind of notice here which says URL is on Google, it can appear on Google search results, uh, coverage is submitted and index, and everything is green, then you don't have to worry about and I would advise you to request indexing by clicking on this on this um, on this button here. So once you do that you can uh, it will test if the URL is the is this URL can be indexed and you just have to wait for it until uh, until it's finished. So when it finishes um, basically Google will have noticed that you want this URL to be indexed and as there are no issues as you can see uh, more probably Google bug uh, maybe was confused or it was a mistake but not all is bad so the index is requested and you will have to check after three or five working days so let's go back now the same with, with this URL here that is the same I had got the green things here and with this one thing as well so as I say inspect URL I got the same green thing so what you have to do is to click on the URL and see that all is green however and don't forget to click on request indexing just in case however I had a URL that has a duplicate issue and and I wanted to show you specifically how to sort it out on WordPress. So here it says that the URL is not on Google, which is bad. We're very bad. It's, uh, the URL is not on Google. Uh, why? The reason why it will be here. Why is there is an issue? It's because it's a duplicate. Google sees that there is another URL better for this blog post. Uh, in this case, obviously, I wanted I wanted the canonical to be the same URL, so I wanted to show this URL in, in, in Google search results. But it seems to Google that there is a, a, a canonical. So if we click on learn more, yeah, this will take us to this uh, to these uh, solutions. So as you can see, my issue is this one: duplicate. Google choose just different canonical than user so this page is marked as canonical for a set of pages but google thinks another url makes a better canonical google has indexed the page that, but the page that we consider canonical rather than this one we recommend that you explicitly mark this page as a duplicate of the canonical url yeah so you will have to mark it and I will show you how to do this on WordPress. What's the way, best way to do this on WordPress? This page was discovered without explicit curl request. Inspecting this URL should show the Google selected canonical URL. Well, that is not really um, no, it's not really happening here. Uh, this is the Google selected canonical here. This is the URL selected by Google has the authoritative version on this page. Other version can be set in search results and all. So it's giving me, uh, so what happened here? What, I, what issue I got here is that I got a transfer my site from HTTP, so, sec so from, from HTTP to secure protocol, so HTTPS. So if you copy and paste this URL here, uh, yeah, so not this one, but this one. Um, yeah, this actually is the URL that is, uh, 
okay so if you click on this on this url here and there is is there right so this is the url that google chose has canonical so if i go to to the to my wordpress website well let me show you before then another url this is digital normal url and let me show you uh, this url so if i go to this url here There is nothing wrong with this URL. As you can see, there is no for forever, nothing, and it was completely indexed. So what I can do is go to my site, to the dashboard, and sort out this URL here, digital nomad. So you just go to your WordPress website, go to process, all posts, look for digital nomad, which is the one that is giving issues on Google Search Console. It's very quickly by using the search bar. Yeah, just make sure that you are in the right URL. Yeah, which is this one. This is the one that I copy and paste here. It's the same URL. So what I want you to do is, okay, go back, is edit. Yeah, I'm gonna choose the classic editor because I find it to be more user friendly and very easy to use. So here, so basically what Google is saying, look, you had this URL before in HTTP, now we chose as the best version HTTPS. That's it. There is no, there is no uh, other issue here, but you have to check that the that the URL is actually working. Yeah. So you can see this is the blog post yeah and here if you have a url that uh, you want google to show instead of this one you just set up your canonical url here yeah uh, this is what i wanted to show you here when it says you should uh, we recommend that you explicitly mark this page as a duplicate of the canonical url okay you can do that, but Google is very smart, the box is very smart, and it's a waste of time, I think myself, from my point of view, to be, uh, to be uh, redirecting each URL HTTP to HTTPS, yeah? So, that's why it's very useful to have Google Search Console and to check Google Search Console because you can see clearly uh, what's the issue with the URL. So, in this case, by clicking on the URL, I can clearly see what's happening and in the end it doesn't really it doesn't really mean that because it's giving me uh the selected canonical which i don't want it to so what you do here is to copy and paste it this on this part here and this is for google an explicitly way of saying hey i want this to be the canonical because before this this url as you can see all this post this URL here. Well, I just realized I'm in the digital nomax Ali Miham. Uh, and I want the digital nomax. So I want the digital nomax. So go to all posts again and I will show you and I will show you how I do it. So in the digital nomad, as I did before, look for the blog post here and edit with the classic editor. And this is the right post that I want to solve this issue. So I go here with the Yoast plugin, which is amazing. Uh, you can send your canonical URL here. This, don't forget to click Add Date and that the, you have the correct URL. Yeah, because you don't want to confuse, I was doing my start confusing with blog posts. So then you just click Add Date and that error should disappear in, in, in one week. You can check next week and the error should disappear because I explicitly say to Google that I want this URL to be the one to be shown. Yeah, why is that? Because Google selected this canonical, but I don't want this canonical to be to be the one showing because otherwise I will have a, a mixed continuation or a, a 404 error. 
actually uh, I want sh Google to explicitly show HTTPS digital nomad for the, the relevant query. So this is the way you sort it out on WordPress. If you have any other method that is easier or you consider is much better, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and I hope this video helped see you, help you and I'll see you in the following video.